Hi guys, I've been here with my preview of Liverpool versus Everton in the FA Cup third round, which takes place at Anfield on Friday night. A very exciting occasion, the game I'm going to be going to in the Cup end. It's been a week dominated by Coutinho news and the saga that we've all been through before. Um, that's been what a lot of the people on social media and the press and everyone have been talking about. A bid of £140 million is apparently incoming from Barcelona. That has obviously dominated the headlines. Um, the fact that Coutinho is supposedly carrying a knock um, kind of few, puts fuel into the fire. People starting to think he might refuse to play, or whether it's another feigning an injury, or the club putting out that he's injured in order to sort of deflect attention away from the fact that he's not playing, as we saw in the uh, summer when it was reported that he had a lower back injury. Uh, Mo Salah's obviously away with the uh, award that he's won in Africa. He's away with Sadio Mane, um, so it, it's unlikely that he'll, he obviously isn't going to feature here. Um, I don't think Mane will either. I just don't see why we would. Um, get him straight in the team after such a long flight. Um, perhaps we will, um, hopefully we do. Um, but look, it's a big, big game and I, I don't want to get caught too much in this Coutinho stuff when this game is about to happen because it is another big game after a series of big games which we came away victorious in since the Arsenal disappointment. Uh, nine points since then, six of them were earned in very difficult circumstances at home to Leicester and away at Burnley in two great, great wins. We had to really dig deep. And with the changes we're going to make, being without Coutinho and Salah for this one, it's going to be you know, an equally tough one. And Everton are going to come and make it difficult as they did last time. We just have to make a breakthrough and be sensible. Dayan Lovren obviously made the mistake last time. Or you could argue that Craig Porson made the mistake, but they combined to give Everton the penalty that you know resulted in a very disappointing afternoon uh, at Anfield. So we can't let that happen again. It's going to be an amazing atmosphere on a Friday night with Everton getting the whole Annie Road end. It's going to be something pretty special. Um, you know, we've had a lot of cup games with them over the years. Um, the obviously Andy Carroll header in 2012, which took us to the final. Uh, the Dan Gosling goal in, in the replay from 2009, when we should have put them away at home but when we were in pretty poor form despite being up there with United to win the title and but that, at the time we were struggling a bit to put teams away at home and um, yeah we struggled to put Everton away there so t today sorry tomorrow it's going to be a case of just blowing them over they're not going to have any intent to attack I'm not sure how much they're going to rotate it is a big game for them they're going to want to come to Anfield and upset the party um, the likes of Yannick Blasi coming back into the side obviously a big boost for them and they're in okay form I know they got beat by Bournemouth but uh, I think in general they're a much improved side uh, obviously under Sam Adelaide compared to what they were uh, sort of six weeks ago so it's not a, it's not an easy proposition but with the players at our disposal we've had four days rest which you know, isn't ideal. I'd have rather this been probably the Monday night game rather than the Friday night, but uh, we, we deal with it. And um, the positive, of course, is after this, we've got nine days until we play Man City in a huge, huge league game at Anfield. We want to be the first ones to, to beat them this season. And, uh, you know, by then we might see Van Dijk in the side. So it's all very exciting. So let's get into sort of predictions for the team for this one. I would be very surprised if Van Dijk made the starting lineup. He might make the bench, but he's only trained once or twice so it'd be a huge shock for me if he came straight into the team I do think um, well we know Karras are going to start in goal from there I think we're going to go Joe Gomez uh, he played left back at Burnley I think he's going to be switched back over to his right side um, he's preferred of the two full back spaces probably for this one and then Matip says James Pearce is set to come back uh, or he's likely to come back having been rested against Burnley so him I think he'll partner Ragnar Clavin Clavin didn't get the uh, the Leicester game, uh, where Billy did get the Burnley game, Lovren got both, so it makes sense to just keep Clavin in, he's in good form, why not? Andy Robertson missed out of Burnley, so I imagine he's going to slot straight in here, his natural left back position. From here on, um, it's quite tricky to predict, uh, Milner didn't get his game at Burnley, so I, man I imagine he might come into the midfield, Emre Chan got both Burnley and Leicester, but I do still think that number six position is one he might need to hold. Either he sits there or Van Alden does. If Van Alden does, then he might go to Lana and Milner. I think Chan will. I don't think we'll start Lana here. I think it'd be a bit um, premature to start him twice in the space of five days uh, when he's just come back from his injury. I think we'll go Chan, Van Alden, and Milner. Um, and then even from there, with, with Mane being in Africa, whether he's going to come back and start, I'm not sure. We are kind of light without him if, if we don't obviously we're with Salah and Coutinho missing but I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Oxlade-Chamberlain, Firmino and Slanky as, as, the, as the front three um, 
perhaps with Solanke playing wide left, we've seen him come on wide left a few times, or Firmino maybe playing off him, or he might see some rotation. You might even see it become a 4 4 2 at times with uh, Firmino and Solanke up front, Oxlade Chamberlain one side, and maybe James Milner moving up to the right. I'm not sure. It's interesting, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, Mane does come back and is fit enough to start. Um, but either way, that's probably the team I, I think will be pretty similar to that. And look, it's not our strongest team. It's not ideal. Um, it is the FA Cup. It's If we do sell Coutinho this season, then it's this becomes by far our biggest chance of silverware. I still think we've got a chance of winning the Champions League, ha having drawn Porto in the last 16, especially if we keep Coutinho with the addition of Van Dijk in there as well. That's a pretty good, solid squad and one that can go far in that competition. But if we do sell Coutinho, we end up having to bring in um, a Lamar or, or a Mares, um, particularly Lamar because he can't play in the Champions League, then obviously that means the FA Cup is basically the one where we can succeed this season. We haven't won a trophy since 2012, that was the League Cup. Before then it was 2006, which was the FA Cup. We want to be having some success. Uh, we're not in the League Cup, so it's not that irritation, so we can afford to use up some weekends and, and some midweeks by playing in the FA Cup to the latter stages, I think. Uh, we've got the squad uh, to manage that. Um, but this is going to be a, a battle, this is going to be a great game and you know with, with Everton in the form they're in I think it's going to be tight, I, don't, I can't see us going there and blitzing them like we have done a couple of times in recent years, I think it is going to be similar to the game we saw in the league, Everton sitting back, us without our best players maybe struggling to break them down uh, but I do think eventually we'll see it through, I think we'll have learnt from last time and I think we might just get through this one 2-1. Um, you know, obviously the same scoreline we beat Leicester and Burnley, but I think it's going to be another real battle. And then just get through this and find ourselves with a week to prepare for Man City, who have to play Bristol City in the meantime. And obviously they've got the FA Cup game themselves as well. I forget who they're playing. But um, I'm relatively confident. Obviously the fact that we're slightly weakened reduces that slightly. We are still the favourites in my eyes, comfortable favourites. Um, it's a shame we've got the Coutinho stuff hanging over our heads. I hope that doesn't too negative, take negatively affect the atmosphere in the place, especially because some people are actually quite angry towards the club for the way that it's being perceived that they're dealing with this. The fact that the stance has been apparently changed. Um, it came out the other day that it is going to be Klopp's decision whether Coutinho does stay or go. Um, so look, ultimately, if you trust the manager, then I guess you have to trust the judgment on that. Um, it would be a massive frustration for me. I think we've got a good chance to finish in the top four. We're, we're hitting form now rather than dipping. Uh, this time last year we were noticeably dipping, uh, but now we've, we've won our last three. We've got players scoring goals left, right and centre. We're very much on the upward curve. Defence is looking more solid. We've brought in Van Dijk um, and we're still in the Champions League. So it's, uh, and we've got a three-point gap between us and Spurs, so we've got to really look to accelerate, look to maybe even finish second. I think we can do that. Um, and look to win the other two trophies that we're in. So momentum needs to be continued. I want the crowd to be as much of a part of that as the team is tomorrow night. Um, let's go and have a blast. Let's beat the Ev and let's um, enjoy nine days and hopefully not have too much continuous stuff or at least get it sorted. Just get what I just want to know where we stand. We don't want this to be dragging on until the end of the month and find ourselves in a position where we can't replace him. But I don't want to think too much about that now. Um, huge, huge game at Anfield. Let's get behind them. Come in with your predictions and your starting lineup, and follow my other socials, and you can get involved there. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel if you're new, and I'll see you after the game up the roads.